it's just a real hope. A medical breakthrough tested right here in San Antonio is opening doors for patients diagnosed with hepatitis C. The virus can be deadly, but now researchers say they found a cure for those suffering from advanced stages of the disease. As Aaron Nichols explains, it's already given one family a new outlook on life. He's strong. He's endured a lot. Joey Libby was just 15 years old when he was diagnosed with liver failure. I was just feeling really, really sick. You know, he just like throwing up and just couldn't keep anything down. Joey didn't know he had the chronic bloodborne virus, hepatitis C, but both his mother, Doris, and father had it. If you had symptoms, then, you know, you might expect something or, you know, lick for something, but it was just seems like it came out of nowhere. The symptoms of hepatitis C include fever, fatigue, abdominal pain, and jaundice. An estimated 3 million people have hepatitis C in the U.S., but shockingly, 75% of them don't even know it because oftentimes they don't have any symptoms. Joey got a liver transplant, but just a few months later, the virus infected his new liver. Just crazy, just hard to take in. You were just really sick all the time. Yeah, really sick and I don't know, I just, I was just determined to get better though. And Joey did get better, thanks to an experimental treatment spearheaded by Dr. Fred Pordad at the UT Health Science Center. And this has really not only made the treatment more tolerable, but the cure rates have gone from somewhere in the 50% range up to 90% or even higher. The treatment combines two drugs, and after taking the pills for about 12 weeks, Joey was cured. There is no single drug that will cure hepatitis C, but these drugs in combination become very powerful. Doris also went through the treatment and is cured. To me, just an added bonus. I mean, the whole thing has about, been about Joey. And now, finally, Joey can live a normal, healthy life. He's my hero. <laughs> She's my hero. <laughs> One of the drugs used in combination treatment has not yet been approved by the FDA. However, researchers hope that happens this fall. And more importantly, they hope hepatitis C in the U.S. will be completely wiped out in the next two years. Aaron Nichols, Fox News at 9.